Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Konaja here. Welcome back to Formula 1 2018. Today we've been given an important announcement that means absolutely nothing to us. <laughs> but it is important. They finally did another regulation change. So if we were to do another season here in this career, they were going to remove almost all, well, basically all of our engine and aero development for the rest of this or for the next season and we would have to redevelop those parts to keep them for next season luckily for us there is no next season in this game as you probably know by now i am going to be changing over to f1 2019 at the end of this season so that means we have a little bit of a luxury here for the rest of the season we get to just continue development on this car and hope that some of our competitors up there in front of us spend some of their points to save their stuff. And uh, maybe we can do some pretty wild catching up as this season draws to a close. But for today, we are in Monza and we're about to head out for qualifying. All right, here we go. A nice sunny day here in Monza so far. Car's feeling really good. It once again has pretty darn good straightaway speed. Running the thing with a two setting on the front wing, a four on the rear. It's still a little bit skinny at times, and I'm not thrilled with it in the slow chicanes. It doesn't feel, it just doesn't feel like it rotates as well as the Haas did through there. But somehow, some way, the development of this car has been such that it is an absolute rocket down the straightaways very very fast right there so fast it's quite difficult to th get the thing slowed down at the end of the straightaways I foresee no troubles today getting out of Q1 or Q2 we'll see how we stack up once we get to Q3 though very interesting how in in practice it really seems like the AI they don't they don't really show their hand too much. So, it might look like I have a, a clear advantage, a little skinny there, a clear advantage versus everybody, but by the time we actually get down to the qualifying session, that gap closes quite a bit. Very much so, like, I don't know, real F1? That, uh, no, that never happens, uh-uh. No sandbagging in real F1. Couldn't be. Alright, we have definitely closed in on this Ferrari, I believe, Vettel. So, that's, oh, 199? Yeah. That's, that's more than a good lap. <laughs> I'd love to go back and look and see what, uh, our Haas time was here last season. That was, it was Raikkonen. All right, with what was far from, I think, a perfect lap from myself, still P3 in Q1, uh, Fernando does make it to Q2, but not looking nearly as sporty. Quite interesting there. Really, really quick times. I feel like... I feel like we're almost to the point. Like, we're, like, two seasons away of playing this game to where you get to the point where the cars are almost fictionally fast. <laughs> I wonder if you can get to a point where you're... Your braking rack let rack, rack blah, 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 blah. You know what? Cut all that. Just just take the first part, Cone. Just whatever. Let's see if we can continue that pace here in Q2. It's getting a little cloudy, which is concerning. I see some big puffy clouds. Let's let's just hope for no no rain this whole race weekend. That would be lovely. A lot of people are well maybe not a lot, but I've seen I've seen the comments. The requests for me to just remove rain from the variable. Just turn rain off. If it makes the game run bad and the AI don't necessarily scale right with the rain, just turn it off. That'd be a shame to me, because it's one of the coolest parts of Formula 1 to me. The run-in, the conditions that 
you are presented with mentality. The the art of racing in the rain. It's part of Formula One, and I would really I would really be disappointed to just completely lose that element. Oh baby, that was a little squirrely. I might no, yeah. That, that was also a little squirrely. I might end up having to run a a second lap here in Q2. Unless this is still somehow in the 19s, I'm not gonna feel super comfortable. No, I was long into there too. This is an awful lap. Not good at all. Well, load it up, put some new tires on it, and try it again. Alrighty, here we go. Try, try again. I feel pretty confident. I think I was doing a little bit too much jibba jabba that lap. I gotta focus in here. This is one of those tracks that it's so important to just nail your marks at. You know, I turned the effects down in the audio settings, hoping it would uh, make the scraping noise a little quieter versus the engine. I think all it did was turn the engine noise down, the scraping's just as loud. Like, the engine feels real quiet now. Silly game. I should have known Codemasters wouldn't know how to do audio settings. They never have. Known for their sliders that only go down to 50%. If we can hang with Grosjean here, then we're pretty much doing it right. Not a great entry to that, but I'm going to pick up a nice toe down this back straightaway. Honestly, too much of a toe. Is he pulling over? He is. Boy, that was lucky. If we can get that in Q3, we'll be in really good shape. There's no ninth gear. There never has been. There never will be. Well, maybe not never. Okay. 19.5. Very good. 19.5 with a little bobble, but a little draft. So 19.5 is probably right about where we sit. She's a quick one today, though it's really close up there at the top. Vettel's only a little bit less than a tenth behind. Alonso, not a good day. Dead last in Q2. Not too sure what the deal is there just not not working for him but we move on to q3 only one set of tires for the car so it's pretty much going to be a one and done here in q3 so i will try to do that if we can be anywhere in that 19.5 range i would be super pleased a 19 even in the 19s is probably good for a top five start and the way the AI he are here at Monza, you want that. You want to start up front here, or you're going to have a bad time. Good launch onto the front straightaway. The press open. Got my engine sounds back, but the grindy noises are still loud. A little bit too bouncy right there. Perhaps a bit too much curve, perhaps a little too late on the brakes. I don't think that's a make or break situation, though. Mm, again, probably a little too aggressive with the curves. Pretty good through there. Much better through there. Really revving that engine out. Oh! Alright, you know, just making sure I'm earning my day's pay. Though with the way this career is set up, I'm not really sure <laughs> that we get paid. 
A 19-6. I don't know if I feel super comfortable with that being pole position, but I feel comfortable saying that's that's going to be our one and done for Q3. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Red completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Rojan, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Ocon, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Bottas, and Carlos Sainz, Ericsson, Sirotkin, Kimi Raikkonen. They've taken a grid penalty. And Alonso, Magnussen, Stroll, Pierre Gasly, and Brendan Hartley. Verstappen and Charles Leclerc rounds off the grid. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I'll try, Jeff. Lots of uh, grid penalties today. As you can see, we are P2. Veno got us by like two tenths. I think we had the pace to maybe turn that lap, but I'm not disappointed with starting P2 here. That should be that should be pretty good for us. Not gonna do anything funny with the strategy. Let's just get to racing. I think they're cheering Fernando in the background. I swear I just heard them cheering Fernando in the background. I, I can't figure out what else they're cheering. Alrighty. Quick lights. Not a great getaway, though. Uh, I'm not clear on Grosjean. Oh, he hopped the curb, but I wasn't able to keep my nose in there. Oh, no. This ain't good. That was a terrible start. No wonder they were cheering for Fernando and not me. I don't like that situation at all. And Vettel is just going to check out. This is the most ideal situation for him. To the outside. Nice. Oh, he's still there, though. Barely held it. Did touch the grass a bit. So we're probably going to get drafted by here. Alright, let's focus now the rest of the race. And I had to push him back out of the track there. I'm just never going to make that turn unless I widened up a little. It's effective. Oh man, look at the gap Vettel built in that one lap. That was not a great situation for us. We gotta hope we can dispatch a Perez really quickly. These sprint races certainly ramp up the pressure to get those moves done as soon as you can. Plays out a lot differently than the 50% races. I'll be glad to return to those once we get to uh, the next iteration. No DRS yet. I have fuel in reserves, but I'd rather use it against Vettel. Assuming I can get up to Vettel. Boom, buddy! We did that in qualifying as well. That was a good closing right there. Faster than metal. We are in a really nice draft for that to be happening. You have to start turning in for the left so much earlier than you actually even start seeing the left handed part of the chicane there. Controls through there. Mm -hmm. 
Right, here we go. Should be fairly easy pass. Not really. Not at all, actually. Not easy at all. That just cost both of us time. Now this should be a little bit easier. Boy, it was hard to get it slowed down there. I had a lot of speed. Now I gotta try and get away from him. Because if he attacks back, it's gonna... Pretty much ruin our chances of, of trying to catch Vettel. Good run there. There as well. So use some of this rich mix. I don't think he's close enough to attack. Barely touched. Oh, you gotta watch that. That uh, sleeping policeman over there will will ruin your day. Gotta watch out for that. Because of the draft, it's really difficult to get away here. But we're starting to break it now. It's actually quite reminiscent of uh, of that Daytona race and I racing. If you haven't watched that one, definitely go back to that because it was it was pretty interesting with the the drafting. In cars that have significantly less top speed than this. Tires are starting to give up a little. Pushing it hard, though. Pushing it really hard. We'll be pitting this lap. I'm curious if they go one more or not. Hopefully we don't come out into any traffic. Box this lap, please. Very nice run there. That was good. That will help. Vettel's not fitting. Alrighty. Let's see how this works for us. I don't like that big pack on the map down there. If we come out in that, it's going to be ugly. DRS failure. Cool. Oh no. We're in the pack. That might be um, pretty damning for us. Please let me get on the brakes in time. That wasn't too bad, but... Oh, we are in the hornet's nest here. I should have gone an extra lap. The only, uh... They are much slower. Only really saving grace could be a draft. Verstappen, what are you doing down here? But as of now, this is looking like a disaster for us. Caught in the arrow watch, too. At least they got the wing fixed. That's good news. Let's use this draft. Vettel's on pit road now. I have a feeling he'll be well ahead of us. 
Watch people fitting. There they go. Fernando's in for his stop. Okay, Vettel's getting up to speed. We're at least still ahead of Perez. That's good. And Vettel is in traffic. Vettel is in traffic. That is excellent news. Very lucky that people went an additional lap there. Hartley's trying to pass him, even. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close. Nice block, Hartley. All the blocks by Hartley. Nice work. That brings you up the place. You don't say. Hi, yeah, I'm here. Our gap to the car in front is 1.7 seconds. I just gotta click off qualifying laps for the rest of this race. Qualifying laps on not exactly the ideal tires to do so. But the nice part is we don't have to worry about where at all. Oh man, the understeer there. That was bad. We'll keep that up. Perez is going to get by us. Yeah, it's just really understeery on these soft tires. Teammate to the car behind us out of the race. We are starting to get into the season enough now that parts are going to start to get worn out. Could run through there. If I could clean up my turn one, we could probably still get somewhere. Pretty good recovery this lap for as bad as it started. Yellow flag. We're leading oh man, that's a dangerous place. Guess there was a little bit of an opening in the wall there. Just trying to keep it tidy through there. Not doing green at it. It's getting a little dark out. Within striking distance now. Well, if we're within DRS distance, not quite. But we're making headway. We got time on the table. Still time in this race to close that gap. driving it down into Parabolica, trying to make up the time here. So that's where the car is working. Doesn't work in the slow sections, but it works in those sections. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Thanks, Jeff. Ah, too deep. That's going to lose a, quite a bit of time. All that work we did. Easy now. So quickly, you can undo all the work you put in. Could have done it there, too. Oh, 
a bit worried I'm gonna run out of the ability to be in this high energy mode by the time I get to him again. In fact, let's start to harvest a little. Bonk, it seems like the one place we have a consistent edge on him. I see you trying to snake the draft up there. That was a nice First chicane. Not as nice, but okay. That wasn't great either. Which is too bad, because we were closing. We've got to get within drafting distance, or this isn't going to happen. Whoa, buddy. Easy now. It feels like you get so close when the speed slow down, but you're really, you're really not there yet. I advise you figure out what you're doing. Ah, I thought we might have it. My thumb was ready to hit the button. I might get just one chance at this, at this rate. Or at least in a little bit of a draft here. This is your final lap. And your final is open. Race. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. All right, Jeff, calm down. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Overdid it. I saw a little puff of smoke off his tires and I thought maybe that was going to be our ticket. I think it was actually just that, just a little dust pick up oh we did get him barely barely got him but we got him congratulations that's how you lead only the important lap <laughs> Ooh, this is 
25 percent raises here that's a they've won in spectacular fashion here today this is the format for those with the short attention span how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today the difference was clearly in the strategy you could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimize each stint and get the most out of the tires nah. and, it... <laughs> and now it's time to wind down and celebrate after that fantastic grand prix here they come your top three out onto the podium yeah good job you look really angry man i've never realized how angry he looks when he's celebrating and after this round of the world championship oh, Alonso. <laughs> here's how things look in the driver's table it's a good result for sebastian fettel who moves further ahead at the top of the table wow Moving on he's to owning the this driver one of the day then anthony davidson who would you go for i'm gonna go for sebastian vettel people have suggested before that he can't race wheel to wheel but as he showed today it's nonsense on to the constructors then Ferrari wait. extend their lead wait, at the what? top of the championship. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So I'm sorry, did he just give the driver of the day to Vettel for saying he couldn't race wheel to wheel? The person who just lost the race wheel to wheel? I guess he didn't hit me. Maybe that's what he meant. Like there was no contact. Overall, that was one of the cleanest fun races I've ever had at Monza. I think starting near the front is the only way to have a good time here. If you start mid-pack, it's just going to be a bad day. Even if we did get a pretty atrocious start, it was not a it was not a strong showing for me in the first stint. But it really came together later in the race. Yeah, these two getting dicey here. Certainly was putting a damper on my uh, on my plans. That round the outside move. Oh, I wish we weren't in this camera. I would have loved to have seen how close that was, but you know, whatever. No, it's still close. Oh, that was uh, that was that was pretty brutal on my part. Like I just. I just kind of drove it in there and took the turn. Luckily, he responded and knew what was coming. I don't know why this thing's so sparky. I don't even have the front ride height low on this setup. It's like it's like the car is just pitched wrong or something. I don't know, but it's just uh, it's just a spark factory. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today in Monza. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you next time.